Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you, well, early this evening for uh, the next Dream Theater Marathon Studio album review. And this is going to be for their album, uh, A Dramatic Turn of Events, that I'm reviewing. And then the next Dream Theater Marathon Studio album review will be this weekend. So definitely tune in for that. Um, this is going to be for Dream Theaters, like I said. A dramatic turn of events that I'm reviewing today. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 9-track album, which is 77 minutes. And let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, I did not hate some of this album. But there are some songs that didn't flow right. And it just... With certain songs like uh, Outcry, mostly, uh, I think, Bridges in the Sky, Breaking All Illusions, and Beneath the Surface. And Breaking All Illusions was not a bad song, it's just decent at best. Uh, so 4 out of 5 for me on that one. And also the final song, Beneath the Surface, just... Hmm... It was alright. Uh, so 4 out of 5 for that one too. Uh, the only tracks I gave 5 out of 5's were On the Back of Angels and Lost Not Forgotten. Those were really outstanding songs in my opinion. I'm sorry that I lifted my thumb up uh, like I was kind of excited about something. But... Yeah, this is not Dream Theater's best album, honestly. This is one of their weakest uh, that I've known so far. Uh, I was hoping I'd really like it. This is the album right after Mike Portnoy, the drummer, left the band. And they added a new drummer in the band. And, I don't know, production-wise, mixing and execution... Some of this album is a little lost in its own melodies and all that. With how it's flowing right, it's kind of out there and just a little mixed around and could be better executed with some songs. Like Build Me Up, Break Me Down was not a bad song, but not my personal favorite. Um, Some of the verses are good but when it gets to the chorus it's kind of eh. it's just not very good but this is the life was not a bad song and like i said bridges in the sky there's this oh kind of thing with the way that some certain uh sound effect is coming in and it does not sound very good. It does not flow right with how the song is playing out. And keep in mind, this is just my opinion on what I think of the bridges in the sky. It's not a bad song. It's just could be better executed, in my opinion. Um, Outcry was not a bad one. Far From Heaven, not a bad song. So those two songs I'll give 4.5 out of 5s. Breaking All Illusions, um, like I said, could be a little better, but with the way it's structured and how the song is executing and flowing, it some of the instrumentation could have been a lot better, uh, but this is what we're getting for this 11th studio album by Dream Theater, um, and finally Beneath the Surface was too mellow. But it wasn't a bad way to close out the album. But it was a decent effort, I think. Um, yeah, the only songs I really liked were On the Back of Angels and Lost Not Forgotten. And some of Build Me Up, Break Me Down is not bad, but it just seems very cheesy how James Labrie is singing the song in the chorus part, but the verses are pretty solid. So, yeah, like I said, production-wise, mixing and execution, this album's average at best. 
It's not my personal favorite Dream Theater album. Uh, it's a little bit of a step down from the last three albums. Which the last three albums were pretty good, but yeah, they were pretty good. Just had a few songs that may have been a little off, in my opinion. But, yeah, maybe the next Dream Theater album might be a lot better, the self-titled that I'm going to be reviewing on Saturday. So, overall, I think Dream Theater's A Dramatic Turn of Events was an average album. I was going to get a decent rating, but I don't deem it to get a decent rating. I found some tracks to not be so bad, but there's a few 4 out of 5 tracks that... I think three, if I'm being honest, uh, that I've personally found to be decent, not perfect, but could use a lot more work. Um, but some of the instrumentation in this album's not too bad. For the hour and 17 minutes of a runtime, it's an average album, in my opinion. But keep in mind, this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was listening to the Dream Theater, a dramatic turn of events. So for a score, I'm giving Dream Theater's a dramatic turn of events a 7.5 out of 10. This was average. Um, maybe in time it might grow on me. I don't know for sure, but... Eh... I don't know if I see myself returning to this album that much, because I just found some of the authenticity and the way it's presented to be not so great, with how the melodies playing out, or melodies for some songs are playing out, the instrumentation is a little off in certain areas in the song, and either song, it just depends on the song, and just James LaBrie singing a certain lyric at a chorus part, or whichever verse, or whatever, it felt a little off, this album, a little off balance, if I should say so, myself, so 7.5 out of 10 in my opinion, um, so comment below, let me know what you guys thought of the Dream Theater album, A Dramatic Turn of Events, if you've heard it. And if you like this Marathon Studio album review I did for their 11th studio album by Dream Theater, A Dramatic Turn of Events, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. I will be returning to you for the Underrose Cycle track review in a little bit. I'm gonna have to get this video uploaded because I'm so behind on reviewing new stuff and all that so I am really sorry that I took a while to make this review that it took a while to make this review I didn't leave my house till 10 to go to a certain appointment of mine it was very important um and I just got back at like two and then other crap happened. Not bad, but it wasn't a bad day off from work. I was going to go to work, but it came around the time when I got home. It was like 2, and I was like, fuck, I'm not going to be able to go to work. So I had to let my boss know that I'll be in tomorrow, most likely. But it said tomorrow is supposed to rain badly, and I'm like, fuck. I'm like, I really don't want it to. <laughs> Because I'm going to be working a four hour shift tomorrow. But anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, album review for Dream Theater. A dramatic turn of events. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. For this album review. And I'll have. I think the Cry Macho movie review. Might be out tonight. I haven't decided when. But I really want to get caught up. With some new movies. And then the Guilty movie review will be maybe by the weekend and i'll have a special video by the weekend for uh wishing you guys a happy halloween and all that so you'll be seeing that video come out soon so stay safe take care and as always i'll see you in my next 
uh, album review or whichever review I decide to do. So I'll see you in the next video.